Okay, how you doing out there, YouTubers? Today's uh, project is my Samlex 4024, 24 volts, 4,000 watt, pure sign inverter, or as I like to call it, the beast. I've had that thing uh, four years, 24-7 running. It's got power unbelievable. If you only need 120 watt, uh, volts, that thing is amazing. Anyway, a while back, one of the fans went out, so I went on uh, the Samlex America, got the phone number, called these people up there in British Columbia, and they said, yes, we have them. And I came out to all said and done, was like $42 for these two fans, with a lovely $2 fee the bank charged me for international fee exchange. Isn't that crazy? Because I went to Canada. Anyway, I'm going to pull these bolts out of the case, take the case off, show you what I'm getting to do, going to do. And I'm going to have to split the chassis in here to get the fans out. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll show that to you. But this thing has been unstoppable, has not given me a lick of trouble. And quite frankly, I'm, cons I, I'm very positive I caused the fan to go out. I took my blower one day, my leaf blower, and I blew through here after we were building a house. And all kind of dust come out of it, and about a week later, one of the fans started making some noise, and then one of them failed. So I put another fan in the back up on the wall, and during the day I would turn it on, and at night I would shut it off, because at nighttime it's basically doing nothing. But uh, it's been a beast. That is a hell of an inverter. Okay, I'll be back in a minute when I take the cover off. I'll show you what I have to go through to replace those fans. Uh, you can see them, but you certainly can't get to them. I'll be back. Okay, here's a look at the inside. This thing is enormous, weighs about 70 pounds, very well built. Look at that huge transformer. Now down in here are the fans. So what I gotta do, I think if I disconnect these bus bars here and take them off from the transformer here, I think I can undo these cables there's four bolts holding the circuit board on and I'm going to carefully disconnect the circuit board and I think once I get the circuit board off this piece of metal here has a few screws that are holding it in place and then I think that it will allow me to get to the fans I hope I'm right I really do maybe I have to take this board off I don't know but the fans are down there there are the screws way down here where you can't get to them. And there are the fans. So I'll just keep taking it apart till I can get to it. All right, I'll be back. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna take some pictures on my phone so I get everything right back where they where it wants to be because this thing is a beast and there's nothing wrong with it except the fans. So I'm putting new fans in. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here's the update about 40 minutes later. This turned out to be a whole lot easier than I thought it was. All I had to do was disconnect these wires, which I took plenty of pictures where they go. And I'm guessing this is a temperature sensor. For this friggin' huge transformer, weighs a ton. None of this had to come apart. I had just four screws holding it here on, the piece of, on this piece of metal. And, and there are your fans. Pretty dirty, aren't they? So, I mean, uh, that's just way easier than I thought it was going to be. And disconnect the two bus bars, and they're both they're labeled 9R, 9L. They only go one place. They match up to these labels. So, awesome. Now I'm going to put the fans back in it. And that's it. That's all the nuts and bolts right there. The hardest thing I'm anticipating is how in the world I'm going to get these nuts back on here when the transformer is in here. I took them out with a magnet. I don't know how I'm going to get them on. These little wires here I had to take off with uh, these two picks. My fingers don't fit anywhere. My hands are just too big for this job, but I got to do it. Sorry about that. All right, so there it is. Four screws in each fan. I took pictures of them to make sure I positively couldn't mess them up. And the first fan 
goes here. I marked it. That's number one. That's number two. They only go in one way. Awesome. All right, I'll be back. Okay, also I wanted to show the numbers here on these fans. This is why I went directly to Samlex. These are identical from the ones that left the factory with. And I'm going to be selling this inverter. Or not. I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to ask you 50% know, of what a new one is. Actually, less than 50% of a new one. And if I can't get that for it, I'll just keep it. There's not a damn thing wrong with it. Anyway, there's the new fan. There's the old fan. There's the other old fan. So here we go. She's going back together. Okay, I'm just over here testing the old fans. Let's put the battery back down to 24 volts. Hopefully I'm catching this. All right, that's the one that was still working. And this one's NFG. You know what that means. So that goes in a dumpster. This one I'll hold on to. I cut the leads off. I'm going to test the new fans before we put them in. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm testing the new fans before we put them in. There we go. Bingo. Let me go get the other one. I'll do it. I'm sure they're fine. I'm just not taking any chances. I'll be back. Okay, here it is. Believe it or not, all back together. It was pretty simple. Um, my biggest problem is my hands don't fit. That was difficult. This little wire here, I'm assuming, is a heat uh, temperature sensor. That has to be disconnected. All I ended up doing was taking five wires off. That one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Four wires. And that one stayed on the board. So red, black, white, yellow. Temperature sensor. Four bolts on the transformer. Get these bolts off the bus bars, which they're marked. Put the fans in, get all the screws back in, triple check everything. I've got 100 pictures on my phone that I was checking constantly. So that's it. All that's left now is uh, got the fans in there, wrote the dates on them, which you can't see now, but tested the fans. Uh, this wire here that's unhooked, this is for a mobile application like an RV. Anything where you're not going to bond the neutral the neutral and the ground together, like it was hooked up in the house here, so you have to unplug it if you're going to do that. If, it, if, you, if you're in a vehicle, it's all in the owner's manual. I've got the owner's manual for this. I even got the factory shipping box that came in because, uh, man, when I bought this thing, it was close to 1800 bucks. With the remote control, which I have, and the remote controls in my bedroom stuck on the wall, and it gives you your voltage, and you can put an SD card in it and make all kinds of changes. These two bolts here, uh, to put your solar input into if you want to, I guess you can put in up to 50 amps in here. It's in something about that in the owner's manual. I never used them. So I'm going to throw the cover back on it, and that's it. I'm happy. So if your cooling fans ever give out on you, and again, as I said, I did not have to take anything on this board apart. This board stayed on the chassis. I only took these four wires off, yellow, white, red, and black, four bolts, four little screws, two on the bottom, four screws on this piece down inside, the bus bars take out the transformer, had to get the little bit of, uh, I don't know what that white stuff is. I don't know, some kind of locking material. I had to pick that away with these little picks. But that's it. I'm going to put the cover back on it. And uh, it was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So there it is. It's the Samlex uh, Evo 4024 back together. I just got to put six bolts in the cover. And... Uh, this unit is for sale. I'll put my uh, email address down in the description. And I need to get 800, 850. I got to be in that ball, ballpark to let this go because these are uh, like $1,800 today with the remote control and everything you get. And I've got all the paperwork that goes with it. 
and anybody that's been watching this channel, the reason this was even removed was I went with the dual uh, Magnum 240 volt setup. And this is also all UL listed. This is not a, not a cheap inverter. Go look at them online. That's the temperature sensor for the battery. And like I said, I got the remote control still hanging on the wall in my bedroom. So that's it. That's the update. The uh, fans have been changed. That's how I did it. It was much easier than I thought it was going to be. And that's the end of this. So I'm over and out. Thanks for watching.